So hi everybody and welcome back to Sunreal Engine 5 full game tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 99 and in this video I want to talk about the stone hit location again which we already made. What is that? First of all you go to your BP blueprint stone which we already created. That was this one. Uh, and then you go again to the on component head and we will change this here a little bit and the thing what we are going to change is we will add here this actor to ignore and I already changed also the start and end point because this is uh, it's easier so but before that let me show you what I mean and why I we have to change that so here is the scene you can see and here are the tentacles and this tentacles will react all time to the place where we throw the stone, right? So when I grab here a stone, and if I throw it here on this windmill, for example, you can see the hit point is here on top now. And the reason for that is it has hit to this uh, static mesh here. And we have to ignore this. If we are not ignoring this one, uh, yes, then something like this happens. The, tentacles go up the very high and we don't want that so how we can solve that it's not difficult like i said we have to use now this uh, actor to ignore and it's very easy you go here to your place right click and say get actor with tag first so you can see get all actors with tech we have here other options as well but i use this one and then you just connect this one here and uh, and then you just connect it normally and important is then here is a place where you can write a name and this is the tag which should be ignored in my case i wrote here ignore trace then you can write it then copy this one and important is now when you go back to your scene every uh, actor which you want to be ignored you have tag it and tag it means for example like uh, before you saw this uh, windmill here when i click on it this bp spinning mesh here the spinning mesh here we have to tag it what we do is we click on it then we go to the details panel then we write here to make it faster tag and then here the option tag and very important at once tag pops up and then you can make here a plus that adds an array so you can have even more tags and we need just this one tag for our purpose and then you write exactly the same name what you have written here ignore trace at this place right I have copied it, so I pasted it, or I have not. Ignore trace. So, when you do this one, then the trace will, uh, uh, the hit location will ignore this uh, hit here. So, then we can just demonstrate this. Let's save that. Let's see. I think that's all what we need. Of course, you can change here the start and end location. I think uh, there was a little bit too complicated. So what I did is here just, I set here a vector, uh, just get a vector, vector, uh, free, something like that. Was was it? I don't know. Just get a vector here. I think this is just a normal vector. And then plus, okay, add, okay. You get this one then you write plus and this is this just the start location it's all time set i set it just for fun 3000 and you make the same again uh, again vector minus from here so subtract and then i said okay the z minus minus 6000 this is just a line from top to bottom and then i connected this one here to the start and i think that's okay and I think this too was just the new thing and all other things stays the same, right? All right, with that said, we can just test this. Uh, I make here play from Let's here. Let's see if I find this. Card. Grab the weapon, the tentacles comes again. It comes out. What was that? And now I grab the stone again. And now when I throw it again to this 
to this uh, wings here. You can see this time it is ignored. Normally it would hit here, but you can see the red line is now here on the bottom. You can see because it was ignored. And that is that what we need to do now with all of the uh, actors which you want ignore, right? So you want not ignore the landscape, but all other things you will probably ignore. And this goes also with this one and all the other things. Here, one more thing which I what I want to show you is don't forget when you have something like this one and this was uh, built modular because uh, uh, there are many, many uh, level designers who built this modular. Uh, in the end product, instead of clicking all separately one by one by one, you can also uh, merge them to one actor if you are finished. So you are finished, you uh, with your modular build, then you take all the modulars, save them separately anywhere else, and then you make here merge actors. Let's see if I can do this. So I select this one, I select them. So now it's all selected in it, huh? And then you can go here, actors, uh, then anywhere here is search actors, uh, merge actors. You have to find this. Uh, I don't know where this is and I don't want to waste your time, but you go here anywhere and anywhere is there merge actors and merge actors means just it is just uh, merging these actors to one. So you have just to select one finished static mesh, just write it one time. That can uh, spare a lot of time uh, instead of going all time one by one to all static meshes. Uh, yeah, but you have to replace this one uh, probably with the, with the new created uh, static mesh. All right. That's for this video. That's very important. And from now on, I think we will do mostly, uh, yeah, polishing, finishing the, uh, the main things, the main story. Uh, and yeah, we are going back a little bit because we have to do here this kind of stuff. And uh, this uh, strange broken uh, line, in my case, I will explain you this uh, if we really need it. But right now, I think we don't need it. So with that said, if you have any questions, any comments like all time, uh, write it like all time in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye. Good luck. And like all time, have fun and never give up.